Good day guys, Bing here. Today we are going to model a, a box right, with a curved edge. Okay, uh, sorry, curved corner. Um, and also it will be a, a mess or adaptive family. Okay, so um, actually pre previously we did a generic model, so um, um, day 12. So if you want, if you're interested, you can have a look. So it's a, it's a, just a, a box and parametric with a parametric corner, curved corner. So you can even change it to uh, a sphere. Okay. So, okay. So let's start. So um, first, um, actually, instead of um, uh, making a mass family, so let's just make it. Uh, adaptive family, so because it's a, it's also a mass family, but more uh, flexible. You can make it adaptive. Okay, so now this is a adaptive, a generic model adaptive. So first, let's just place one point. So this, I'll just make this a point adaptive. So this will be the base of that uh, geometry so now from this we're going to just uh, reference reference oh sorry reference rectangle drawn work plan set to work plan pick the horizontal work plan so we're going to place a, a a rectangle here so now let's add some dimension so and another two um, let me just change the scale a little bit. Oh no, that's too big. Okay, so now these two, uh, I'm going to create, let's call it W1. Um, actually, I'll call it half W1. Instance, um, yeah, instance. So these two will be half W2 instance. Okay, now go to family types and we can create a Parameter. Let's call it W1 instance. Okay, and half W1 equals W1 divided by two. And also, I want to put the half W1 under other. Same. Let's create a W2 instance. Okay, so half W2 equals W2 divided by two divided by two. And and also, I'll put this under uh, other. And also, I'm going to just type in number here, so maybe two meter and three meter, and apply. Okay, so now we need to um, create a height for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, let me think. I'm going to place a point and draw work plan set work plan place the uh, pick the horizontal work plan and pick this so i'm going to drag this so this will be the height so let's create a new parameter so h h instance okay and okay so now i'm going to um, create another uh, profile okay so reference rectangle set draw on work plan set to work plan, pick the horizontal work plan and place it here. So now I'm going to add another four dimensions of so one, two, three, and four. So these two will match the half W2 and these two will ha uh, match the half W1. So now these two uh, rectangle will be exactly the same so now we can select these two create a form so this is the box okay so the next step we need we need to um, uh, create some uh, void okay so let's have a look at this one so um, okay so first we need to uh, actually um, we can build this into those profiles, so let's do it. So I'm going to just uh, 
I'll dis dissolve this. And then what we need to do is we need to create some uh, corner. So go reference. Uh, we're going to use this one. So fillet arc. So set to a plan pick. We'll plan pick this horizontal work plan. So you you will see uh, you can pick these two reference lines. So before we pick, we're just going to check this radius. So I'm going to type in so for example 100. So now if I pick these two it will automatically create a radius, sorry, an arc with 100 uh, radius. So now we can click this to, uh, uh, what's this called? Uh, toggle join uh, tangent, tang tangency. Okay, just lock them. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. And you will notice you can't, you won't be able to pick these two because you need to set the work plan first. Okay, so set work plan and, oops, sorry. Let's do it again. So reference, uh, fill it up, draw on work plan, set work plan, and pick, pick the horizontal work plan of this point, and then you will be able to pick these Okay, so one, two, oops, I forgot to check the radius, that's fine. We can just go check this and click and one, two, so and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so where is, where is it? Here, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now, now we can select this uh, profile, this profile create form. So now this time uh, we will have this corner. Okay. So if I change to shade, and you will see it all. It's uh, you you will, you will see these two lines, but actually the face is um, um, it's very uh, smooth. Okay. So now we need to uh, create cut. We we need to um, create some void okay so let's do it so first let's hh so um you, you won't be able to create a uh, a void um just I'll, I'll i'll show you so usually people uh people think that oh we can just create a, a sweep uh void but um i'll just show you <laughs> So first, place a point, draw on face, and just <clears throat> just place it on this reference line. Okay, so anywhere, and then I'm going to just draw a um, so one so 100 radius um, arc. Okay, so which means we need to. Uh, Set work plan, pick the vertical work plan, and draw this. So it will be 100 this way and 100 this way, and then create a arc. Okay. So now, if I select this profile together with this uh, path, create form. So you will see, you won't be able to create this. Okay. So um, what you can do is you can tab select only this one so you, you will be able to create this okay so which means let's control z select this uh the point and together with three reference line cc multiple so one two three so now select this point uh, and um, pick new holes i'll pick it on this reference line and pick new holes on this one and this one will pick new holes onto that one. So now we can create one, two, three, four. But still, we uh, actually, I'll, let's try if we can create um, a sweep, including this bit. Okay, so create form. No, we can't do it. Okay, so that's fine. Let's first. Uh, sorry. Oops. Tab, 
select create form tab and select this profile you don't need to create a void straight away you can create a solid and then turn it uh, change it into a void sometimes it's easier to do it that way okay so now we have all the edge uh, sweep and then we need this so to have this one uh, we can't use sweep to create this shape okay so um, actually uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a revolve instead okay so because we have this profile so let me just hh this sweep because we have this actually we can share this profile so i'll just change let me just try um oops i'll try to move this to this end looks like uh, i'm able to create form um that's okay let's just delete that so let me hr hhr looks like we won't be able to do that but that's fine let's just try again T select this profile and this path and create form yep still okay and same this one i want it to it um, this profile to go to this end it looks like we need to create create it again so that's fine and for this one same i'll just drag this to this end and delete let's cre create it again and this one now hh drag this to this end delete let's just create another one and so now we have one two three four four sweep and then also we have i'll oh, just hh hh please we have this profile okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a, a revolve but for a revolve we need another line so let's just place one point i'm going to place a point and also place a point on this reference line so at this point so i'm we can actually drag this to this end okay so and then create another point draw a work plan set work plan so this time i'm going to place it on the horizontal work plan of this point and place it on the point and now i drag this so anywhere so we can drag it down and also i'm going to place another point set on the horizontal work plan of this point and so now we have two so doesn't matter how um, long so we just need to create a reference line okay so it doesn't matter how long this reference line is as long as it's uh, uh, aligned to this point so now select this reference line together with this profile we can create a, a revolve right and because we don't need 360 degrees we only need 90 degrees so let's try so if you select this form so under here you start start angle and end angle so let's try so um 270 maybe yeah so that's it so if our hr you will see we have this one this one this one so if i change them change these three to void and then use the cut tool cut cross see automatic cut but sometimes you need to manually cut so you will see one two three okay and then let's um and also uh sorry i forgot to add the parameter so it's okay so let's hide everything so for this corner so let's just di dimension add a radius parameter oh hell we need to set the work plan first set work plan pick the horizontal work plan and di and radius okay and also this one and uh, this one this one so select one two three four create a radius so let's call it r instance okay 
the same so let's do it uh, for the upper corners so set world plan first pick the horizontal world plan di radius this one um, this one three oops three and four so select one two three four and R uh, and also uh, we need to dimension this as well so for this one we need to set the world plan pick this point di radius this one and and so I'll link this to the R and also same uh, where's this one so yeah just need to sometimes just need to uh, it's easier to hh -h all the 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 form and then we can set work plan pick di radius pick this one and uh, link this to r so maybe i'll maybe change the scale a little bit okay so now here hh -h, set work plan pick this we'll plan di radius and select this and link to r the last one so set work plan pick the work plan di radius oops and r okay so now let's have a test so hr to show everything and um, let's have a look so if I change the R to 200, yeah, good. Oh, hang on, let's have a look. Uh, looks like this is not right here. What's happening here? Mm, okay, looks like this sweep, because when we create this sweep, we only have one profile. We only have one profile, which means we when we when we change the the dimension, only that end will change. This end won't. So um, it's okay. We just need to add another one. So that's fine. Uh, I'll dissolve this. I'll hh this solid. I'll hh this one again, and I'll select. Um, House, what's this? Okay, so that's uh, that's something uh, we get from the dissolve. So actually, we maybe we can use this. So let's change this to reference on and set work plan. Pick this uh, work plan dr radius and I'll give it r. So now we can select this one, this profile, together with this, and together with this path and create form. So this time I'm just going to create a void. Uh, I'm able to create. That's fine. Um, let's try again. So let's try solid. Okay. <laughs> create a form. Oops. Hmm. Looks like something's not right. Oh hell, because when I select this one, it it didn't pick this arc, so maybe we need to manually pick that. Okay, so tab, create form, all good. So we can change this to avoid, and if I hr, see now it's perfect, and then we just need to do all uh, this to all the rest of the edge so so for example if for this one I'm going to just dissolve so this will give us an, an extra profile here so we just need to uh, change them to reference line and also set our plan and do a dimension a radius here and link it to the R so this will give us this profile. So select one, two, three, three, written sign together with these three, and also this part 
to create a void. Okay, so now if I HR, so now that's it. Okay, so um, okay, I'll just do one more. Okay, one more. So uh, actually, uh, I'll do one more maybe here. Okay, so from scratch, so there's nothing here. So what we need to do is first just HH and then we're going to just copy this. So copy this point together with three reference line CC, go down here and copy another one. Okay, so because we need two on each end, and then select this point and pick new host and pick this reference line. And you will notice that because this um, we need to rotate this by uh, 90 degrees. So select this point and type in 90. So now this is correct direction, right? And then another one here. So pick new host and pick this reference line. The same, just type in 90 degrees. So now you can type, select one of the point, type in one. So this will go to this end of this reference line. So this one go to zero. So it will go to this end. Now you can select reference line, reference line, oh sorry, profile, profile, and also tab, select this. So create a void. So now if I type HR, so you will see this is it. And also for this corner, we just need to uh, let me just hedge hedge everything because previously we already have a uh, where's my little uh, reference on hang on let me try to find it where is it hedge uh, maybe not here hr oh here sorry uh, maybe we need to do another one here so yeah, that's okay. So let's HH, HH. So, and also HH this form as, as well. We just need another little straight line. So, place a point, join, join face, and place it on this reference line. Okay, and then just move it to this end, which will be one. Another point, join work plan set, work plan pick. Pick the horizontal work plan of this point, place it on the point, and then you can either uh, drag up or down, so doesn't matter. So, and then place another point and place on the horizontal work plan of this point, and OK. And then uh, drag it down. So, select select these, oops, select these two reference a uh, point, sorry and create a spline, make it reference line. So now we have this reference line together with this profile. We can create a form. So let's just create a solid first. And so this is a 360. Select this form and change it to 270 to 360. Okay, so now we can. So I'll just HR so you will see the, the other solid, the, the box. And then I'll change this from solid to void. So now you will see it will automatically cut this corner. Okay. So uh, I'll do another one here. So because we already have this, this, this line, this one, and this can be used on this as well. So select this one, and together with this, so create a form. So this is it. Select this form, change it to 270, and change it to void. Okay, so now HR, so you will see it will automatically cut this corner as well. So, and that's it. So um, I I want, uh, I think uh, that's, that's, that's all I want to show you. I will, um, I will finish this family and and upload this family for you to, to have a look. Um, basically, it's uh, that's the method. Uh, but if you find if if you find a better way to do it, please let me know. Uh, okay, um, it, 
it took, took me a while to uh, to create all these uh, void and and so here it is so so you will see there um, you will need all these radius on each um, profile okay so now let's have a look have a have a test so I'm going to just turn off all the annotation so this will hide all the the dimensions so now let's have a look so open family types so let's have a look so for example I'll change the height so to 1.5 meter no problem change the uh, the width change the, the other width okay so maybe I'll just make it one meter uh, okay so the radius yeah how about 10 oh, yes how about um, um, how about uh, 400 coming to 400 yes coming to 500 no nope. <laughs> Uh, can we do 499? Yes. Okay, so this is this is it. A um, uh, let me change this back to maybe 50. Okay, so this is this is the generic model adaptive, which is a, a mass environment. So a, a parametric box with a curved corners okay thank you for watching um i'll see you next time bye